can't miss this crew coming down the Dover sidewalk, art supplies in hand. <laughs> Take over the world. They're on a mission inside 603 Bar and Lounge to stock this unusual vending machine, ready to serve customers hungry for art. Each coil is filled with a treat, a small creation from a local artist. I keep everything under $20, so there's nothing in there that's over $20. With a swipe of a credit card, phone, or watch, you can get your own mini masterpiece from the Flex Machine. It's called Flex Machine because flex would be like to show off or to um, yeah, like flex your skills. And I really wanted the artist to be able to show off. Elizabeth Gravel created this, starting with a blank canvas of a machine. Well, I saw it on Craigslist and it was a really good price, so I didn't know if it worked or anything, but I basically just wanted to see what I could do with it. I paid $300 for it. Yeah, and when we got it home, we opened up the coin machine and there was um, like $95 in it. Inspired by unique vending machine ideas on social media, she poured her own creativity into it. A few coats of paint, strings of lights, and pom-poms, then invited artists to contribute to this gallery through the glass. Every month there's new artists in it and new featured artists. I wanted it to be very space-themed. I feel like a vending machine, it kind of reminded me of a rocket ship right off. I like your buttons too because they're like Spaceship Four. Customers shop the corner vending machine for all kinds of quirky art. Hair clips, pins. I love the mini chakra kits. They have um, a lot of little gemstones in them. Stickers. Basically anything that will fit in there has been a possibility and I'm always looking for new things. turns to artists with never-ending vending machine imagination. So these are dibbles. So the dibbles were born out of the pandemic when at my art center they delivered 500 pounds of clay that I had ordered, but everything was closed. And I was like, what am I going to do with all this clay? Aren't these cute? We have these big ones that go in your garden or in your big plant pot at home, and then we have these little ones that are like, like your pet rock, your little pocket pals. Oh, it's so cute. I um, love this. Yeah, that's one of my glass holding hearts. Nancy works with fused glass. Her tiniest creations fit in the machine. Well, the holding hearts are probably my most popular, and those are my favorite thing to make. I love making them because I feel like they're just a nice pocket token that somebody can hold when they're having a bad day or just a kind of a, a nice reminder that somebody is thinking of them. He is a possum holding a banana phone wearing his <laughs> loveliest striped shirt. He's so cute. Thank you. Becca is a painter highlighting misunderstood animals. This is Blinker. He is my former foster kitten, and I thought it would be really cute to have him kind of represented in his jack-o'-lantern there. She makes pint-sized versions for the vending machine. I wanted to have, um, like, smaller scale work that's more accessible to other people. An art vending machine is, like, the coolest thing ever to me. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time playing with the subconscious mind and symbolism, and I like to put dreams into pictures. Max prints are front and center. If I can create something that brings someone else a sense of inspiration, peace, or joy, then that's, I mean, that's what life is about. Mostly I have sun catchers in here. You put them on a window, and when the sun hits them, it casts rainbows into the room. It's a cat astronaut. Maybe somebody who wants a little whimsy, a nice little playful, fun touch for their home might be buying a sun catcher out of a vending machine. I feel like the art is just offbeat, um, unique, just kind of like the vending machine concept. I always like the mystery bags. Um, they just never know what's gonna be in there. All right, we 
have a gummy roll. That looks delicious. And a keychain that says bad driver. Mm, that might be for me. Yeah. <laughs> The vending machine venture is so popular, so intriguing, Elizabeth is building another one in her living room. And that's going to be um, down the street at Teetotaler. She enlisted the talent of muralist Mike Durkee to get this one painted and out the door to dispense more art. We did this really great sort of flowy hands magic theme going on here. Lots of bubbles. I'm excited. I'm really excited. It just means more artists and it, more people in the community that get to enjoy it. I mean, it really depends on who's in front of it, but there's always something for everybody. Definitely try it. <laughs> it's fun. 